How's everyone doing? I hate to interrupt what was clearly excellent conversations going on, but we also have a whole lot of great stuff that we want to get through today, so I don't want to put us too far behind. I see a whole lot of familiar faces, so good to see folks that I haven't seen in quite a while. Uh, for those I don't know, um, I promise I have control of my mic, so when I'm not up here talking, come up and say hi. I'd love to meet other folks who saw this and said, I got to be there. This is what I'm in state government for or for all the vendors in the room, this is why I love engaging with state government. So I'd love to meet as many as you as possible while I'm here today. Uh, my name is Adam Dondro. I'm the Agency Chief Information Officer for California's Health and Human Services Agency. We handle about half the state's IT budget. So I was particularly excited about this opportunity because we've been working for a few years at trying to move this direction. How do we do things differently? How do we move the needle? And the panel of folks that they have put together to come speak with us today is just top notch. Um, it's super impressive, the folks, and it should tell you how excited they are that all of you are here to be a part of that. So thank you for taking an interest. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to be here. I get the pleasure of going through some of the um, logistical items, but first, how many of you have been to a conference about digital services in government? Okay, so a little bit more than half. So what we promise to you today is that this is going to be unique. This is going to be different. In the morning, it may not feel like it, though we certainly want to get you engaged as we have some lightning talks, if we have some panels. But really in the afternoon, we've got an exciting portion with no agenda. And I've never done anything. How many have been to a conference with no agenda? Wow, a lot more than me. That was news to me. And I said, Bill, are you sure? Um, but I, I, I promise you it's going to be exciting. But for that to work, we need your participation, right? This afternoon is all about you and the things that you deal with day to day, the things that you are excited to see. And so for that, the first key piece of logistics, out directly across the hall, we've got the multi-purpose room. In there, we've got key things like coffee. <laughs> Feel free to jump up anytime, head across the hall, and I promise that if you can walk quickly, you won't miss anything because we've got this streaming live across the way. So if you need that break, if you need to get up and stretch your legs, you just need that hit of caffeine, head over there. You'll still be able to see what's going on. But also over there, we have a board, right? Now, what's so great about a board? Not much in and of itself unless you help us out with it, okay? So we need you to help us with ideation, okay? That means post-its, all right? We're all used to using post-its now, right? We need you to take your ideas, take your questions, take your thoughts, Get over there, put them up on the board. I'm told we even have emoji stickers. All right, be sure to use those. So when you're over there for coffee, go to the board. When we have breaks, when we've got lunch, get over there, put your ideas up because the key to that second portion of the agenda is that we're gonna vote on those throughout the day. We're gonna see the issues that resonate with the most of you and that's where we're gonna be able to focus our time. So if you came here today with something you were particularly hoping to talk about, and hear about from the experts, make sure you put it up there. We'll probably get to a lot of them during the panels, but that key discussion is in the afternoon. So make sure you get over to that side of the building, um, if for nothing else, than to add to that board. We've got a whole lot of topics that we're going to get to today. We've got user-centered design, iterative development, organizational change, culture of innovation, risk management, all sorts of things that we're going to be getting into. Right? And so make sure that you participate on that board, but also over here, right? During the panels, we're gonna be taking questions. After the lightning speeches, catch the people if you had a question that you wanna grab them about. These are great people. They've come from all over the country to come and speak to you about this, but I know almost all of them, and they are very down to earth, very personable people. So come up, talk to them, ask them your questions. Get out of today what you put into it. That's what I'd ask of you. So um, with that, a couple of logistical items. Outside the main doors you came in through, straight to your left is where the bathrooms are. We already talked about the coffee and the break room across the way. Um, what else have we got there? I think that's all the logistics. I hit all the logistics? Excellent. Then with that, I'm extremely pleased to introduce Mike Wilkening, who's going to give our opening talk. Okay, all right, that's the first hurdle. So um, 
Thank you, Adam, and, and thank you all for having me here this morning. I uh, wasn't sure I was going to be able to make it, so I, I'm really appreciative of AGL squeezing some time out for me to, to provide some remarks to you all. Um, most, many of you will remember me or have met me in my former roles, which were as the Secretary and Undersecretary of Health and Human Services for California. And there we, we uh, did things, as Adam was alluding to, some of the things that we had done, such as bringing up the first open data portal at the agency level, um, creating an innovation office, you'll hear from Shaney and later on in, in the agenda, uh, shifting to agile and modular procurements, use of data to inform decisions and provide insights, and really, in some total, it was really about culture change and really shifting the focus to the end users. So my, my new job, which I'm sure some of you in the room know, about a month ago, the governor announced me as the special advisor on innovation and digital services. So building on the, the things that I'd done in health and human services and bringing that focus to, to the state. And I'm really happy to be doing that with Governor Newsom, who as a, a former mayor and as a businessman, understands the need to focus on customers, the need to be innovative and to be friendly. And yes, government can be all three of those things. Um, it doesn't always seem that way. The, uh, his proposal for the Office of Digital Innovation is really about focusing on user experience. And, and really changing how we, we interact with Californians. And the, the goal is really fundamentally to recast that relationship with Californians, to shift from a focus on departments and programs to people, to make it easier and more intuitive to interact with government, find information, apply for benefits, and redeem benefits. But this is all gonna be a, a huge lift. It's gonna require rethinking how the state operates. It's gonna require rethinking how people view government. It's going to require rethinking our relationships with vendors. It's going to require rethinking our, our relationships with all of you. And we're only going to be successful if we're able to create partnerships and if we're able to bring other people into this and if we're able to take the best ideas from the things that we've been doing in state government and build on them as well as to look to the, the business community, look to other states and local governments and see what's working there and scale those out. But it truly is a, a fundamental shift in, in how government operates and really thinking about people rather than programs and departments. And I think it's truly an, an amazing and incredible time to be working in this space. And I'm so happy to see so many of you here today because as I said, we're gonna need all of your help. So thank you and thank you in advance for your partnership. All right, thank you, Mike. I have had a real pleasure um, working for the last, um, well, I guess it's been like seven years now working with Mike. And, you know, people don't believe that we have the leadership in the state to move this direction, right? A lot of people I talk to who are skeptical that we can actually do this. Mike's proof otherwise, right? He came out of finance, and that's not where we usually think of innovation coming out of, <laughs> right? but he sees the value, and how many health and human service related folks, staff, vendors that work with us, quite a few, we've been talking about this all of our careers, right? And health and human services is front and center. You got the people that are in the most need, and we know they're there, but still, when you look at historically how we did it, we didn't have them at the table. We didn't have them at the center of what we were doing, and that's the beauty of what we're talking about today, changing that dynamic, putting the person at the center. And that's exciting for me as a state employee, looking at that career change and what we're doing, that's exciting. Does that excite anyone else? Thank you. <laughs> we'll work on that. Okay, so now I get to hand it off to the Agile Government Leadership. I always have to look to make sure I get that right. Association who's hosting this today. And Aaron Pava, who's the organization executive director, is gonna come up with a few words for you about today's event. Hand for Aaron. Adam, thank you so much. And good morning, everyone. Good morning. It is so great to be here. And it truly is my honor to welcome you to the first AGL Association event uh, in Sacramento. So my name is Aaron Pava. I'm the executive director of the AGL Association. This is an exciting time in California. 
Governor Newsom's administration has already demonstrated a big commitment to invest in a new digital future. Our members are excited to help make this vision a reality. The AGL Summit Committee and volunteers have been planning this event for many months, and we're thrilled to help chart that path uh, for uh, the government transformation around digital services in California. The AGL Summit is modeled on the principles of the AGL Association, which is to help modernize government through shared knowledge and community building. And while AGL has been around since 2014, this year we became a 501c6, 501c6 member-based nonprofit supported by individual members, both in the government and in the private sector. So the AGL community has grown to include nearly 1,000 federal, state, and local technology professionals, private sector representatives, and civic activists across the United States and the world. Together, we promote modern software development, including agile and user-centered design, community building, sharing knowledge, learning, collaboration, and partnership. So we welcome you to stop by our table in the back and learn more about becoming an AGL Association member. And at this time, I want to pause and acknowledge all the sponsors that made today's event possible. A huge thank you to CGI, Civic Actions, Civic Makers, Red Hat, Agile 6, and Enterprise Networking Solutions, who without then we wouldn't have been possible to put, put this event together. So please be sure to visit all of their booths um, in the MP room across the hall, where we also have some coffee and snacks and a live stream of what's happening in the room. And last, after today's event, I'm going to invite you to a social event across the street we're going to meet at Vallejo's Mexican Restaurant starting at 5 o'clock to have some tacos and continue the conversation. So again, thank you for being here and being part of this special event.